Okay, Virgo, we are starting it off with you. And that's because during meditation, I got a channeled message. Okay. I don't know who you're dealing with or what is going on, but what I received is, <laughs> there it is. There it is. The full Knight of Wands. <sighs> there is someone that is so in lust with you. Unfor th the thing is, is what I was getting is someone wants you so bad, they can't stand it. And I feel as though they almost can't stand you. They don't like you. Is there something or someone? I don't know. What I was getting is this could is this someone that you haven't, you know this person, but you haven't met them. Okay? So I don't know if this is someone that you were dealing with, someone that whether you were, um, whether there was any kind of intention of uh, um, a relationship or any kind of talking or whether this is just a friendship or However, this dynamic is, there is someone that it's like somebody has this in, in, insatiable desire for you, but they, it's like they can't stand you. There's something about you that really, really upsets them or pisses them off. Um, Ace of Cups. So that's where we're going today with this. So let's see what we get. Ace of Cups. You got the, so you got the Fool and you got the Knight of Wands in reverse. There could be somebody who wants to come back. Either this is somebody that you know or you're aware of. Now, whether or not, like I said, I don't know the dy dynamic, whether you had been talking to them previously with any kind of intention of getting to know them a little bit better or not. I don't know. <laughs> so um, that's what you got. Um, this fool here, there is a, it's like a care, carefree or careless. <sighs> carefree energy it could be more or less a player energy this knight of wands in reverse uh, definitely um it's like they have this it's i'm getting like this insatiable desire it's just this it, it, somebody's just got it bad okay ah, all right ace of cups no we're not gonna yeah we are W won that cup. Could be a W or an M. Is in reverse? It looks like an M. Looks like a W. Okay. Is that a um? What are those little tiny birds that like they're they're like the nectar hummingbird? I don't know what's the spiritual significance of a honey bird because my eye is really really being drawn to this okay two of pentacles okay who is this person they are ready to, to reach out or to speak to you about something now they're hiding something from you Ooh, five of pentacles okay they're hiding something from you so they could be telling you something they could be trying to do something to allure you try to get some kind of you know communication out of you um i feel like the way that they're going to communicate is going to be somewhat sneaky so let's say let's say you have a pension i don't know why i want to say that have this thing about you that makes you want to um if people are in need you almost can't resist helping somebody because you have a very good heart and you have this you know, Virgo is the sign of service. So maybe, you know, somebody may need something from you um, and you may want to provide a service to them or something like that. Or maybe you feel like, you know, healing is part of your nature and like you want to help somebody alleviate their problems. You want to help figure out their problems. So, you know, some kind of service, you know, I feel like that could be a way that somebody may come to you in order to, you know, either, you know, um, rope you in you know, to kind of get some kind of dialogue with you. All right. Got this five of pentacles and you have this nine of swords. So 
let's say somebody that you haven't been speaking to, whether this was a ghosting situation or not, I don't know. Now, there could be somebody who maybe feels a little bit, uh, I'm getting a word betrayal, but you know, it's also uh, about being bankrupt, maybe spiritually bankrupt, maybe somebody, if it's bankruptcy, if it's physical, you know, because this message can be literal or metaphorical. Whether it's somebody that is um, having problems with money or finances, you know, or you know, and that maybe maybe you are in a position where they you can help them. Excuse me, and it could be something like that. But I feel like this is more on a spiritual level, you know, because this could also be talk about money, but also talk about spirituality. So maybe there's something about you that you like to talk about. Maybe it's something about the way that you live, speak, breathe. Okay, something that you're good at. And that could be how, you know, and maybe there's something like that. You know, there also it could be, I'm, I'm kind of getting, there could have been like a kind of a spiritual difference or something like that. Or maybe kind of a difference in, you know, ideas, maybe practice or something like that. Because everyone that's spiritual nowadays, they, they want to tell everyone what to do. They want to tell everyone how to do something. Okay. And it's almost like a, a form of handicap where, where people don't want you to figure out things for yourself. They want you to continue to kind of like keep coming back, keep coming back. You're not, you're not... You know, you're, um, you're no good, you know, if you're, if you continue to be sick, if you're sick, if you're always sick, then, you know, you're always going to need me. Okay. So there could be something like that where it's like somebody is like, I'm the end all be all. I'm the one here. I'm the great and powerful, you know, now this could be the Virgo being like that, or it could be somebody else's, you know, maybe there's something about, you know, there was some kind of collision or, or collide between words or, or beliefs or something like that. Okay something there was it could have been something like that so maybe something that you're not speaking to okay um now for some i mean there could I, i'm getting it's like a matter of difference of opinion or or maybe something like that i don't necessarily know that there was any kind of like now this doesn't look like it was any kind of major fight or anything like that but i feel like somebody's um oh that's interesting there was another reader out i was just just remembered that another reader i was watching you know, talked about that. In fact, yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. Ace of Pentacles. So that's what I'm getting. Now, what was going on? What happened? Yeah. This, this feels like something about spiritual beliefs or spirituality. For some of you, it's going to be money. But something that is of value to you, that could be your belief system. Okay. Devil. Okay. This person could be a Capricorn or it could be somebody that, you know, maybe they were very negative. Maybe they were acting out of the devil, um, trying to control somebody or trying to force somebody's ideas or beliefs or opinions on them. Okay. Could be something like that. Got the high priestess here. All right. Pisces energy. All right, what happened between these two people before? What happened between these two people? Three of Pentacles. Okay, so something happened where somebody got in the way, and, and you know there was a bit. Of, there was a good bit of cooperation. There was a good bit of you know two people maybe even decided, hey, we want to we want to collaborate together. We want to work together or something like that. Now, what actually? Because I, I I can't say that I actually feel like there was like a big blow up. I don't feel like that. A son. Yeah, this could have something to do with somebody's healing. Somebody may have gone off to, to deal with somebody else or to kind of figure out a different way or a method of, of healing or trying to get some kind of gain some kind of understanding. Now, whoever this person is, they might live in a, you know, a climate that's full of sun. Okay, um, something that's very, very bright. Maybe they don't get really a lot of rain or anything like that. Maybe it's not so much tropical. Maybe, you know, could it, wherever it is, it gets a lot of sun. So I, I'm not going to say, you know, I don't think, I don't know how much sun Antarctica gets, but you know, if you're in a, like a full climate of, uh, of nothing but snow, you know, like Siberia, I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so that's where I'm kind of getting that. So you could be either like, I don't know about tropical, but maybe uh, desert, um, something dry. I'm getting something dry. All right. Dry skin. Somebody could have dry skin. Somebody suffers from dry skin. Somebody may have a skin condition. Okay. All right. Something is dry. Conversation ran dry. Conversation run dry. Something happened. Okay. Yeah. 
it, there's like a, a sense of like duality or like a difference of opinion or a difference of something. So somebody, you know, I feel like somebody just kind of backed away. All right. Now. Tower. What's this person want with the Virgo? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. <sighs> this person. Oh, what is that song? Not techno. It's 90s dance. Oh, yeah. So in love with you. Oh, yeah. It's too good to be true. Oh, yeah. Who sings it? This is the night, dancing free until the morning light, together forever, cause this is the night. Who sings that song? What is, I, that's popping in my head. Okay. <sighs> so in love with you, oh yeah. I keep hearing that. Nine of Pentacles, somebody wants to take you off the market. Somebody wants to take you off the market, but it's a weird energy. It's like love-hate. It's heartbreak. Magician. Give me, give me, give, uh, let me, we're going to have this right here. Give me, um... A description. Let me let's get a physical description. What does this person look like? Page of Pentacles. They look younger, or they, they may look young. Okay. They may be younger or they may look younger. They could have brown hair, maybe a little light. Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. <sighs> they could have some kind of a health problem. Okay, let me get some more about whoever this person is. That's interesting. This could be somebody that you may, you might not have, I mean, it could be a month, yeah, but it could be somebody that you probably haven't spoken to in about a year or so or, or more. Um, but I'm also getting... Um, If that's, if that's what it is because I don't have I can't say that it's technically that because there's the hermit I can't say it's technically that because I don't have the um the empress so I just started talking to myself hermit to a wands hey, it could be another Virgo it definitely could be another Virgo Somebody at a distance, you know, or there's been a lot of distance between you and this person. Okay. Somebody may have gone off to do something else. Okay. They went off to do something else and they failed at it. Maybe they chose something else over you and they wanted to try their hand at something else. It could have been either they, they tried either to do something with another person, collaborate or work with another person. They may have actually chosen another lover over you or... You know, they could have just chosen because you do have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So they could have chose a career or some kind of creative endeavor over you. Okay. They had a choice between two things and then they chose, they chose the other thing. Okay. So that's what you got. Okay. Let me get one more. Is any, what is it that Virgo needs to know? What is it that Virgo needs to know? What is it that the Virgo needs to know? Might of Cups in reverse. The Moon. Four of Swords. There's that tower again. You're definitely not going to be expecting this, and I'm not sure what you want to... Give me... Okay, so clarify this Knight of Cups in reverse, please. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so... Five of Cups. I feel like somebody wants to tell you how much they regret... 
you know, that's the underlying issue. It's like they... The way something happened or the way something turned out, it's like they didn't expect something to bother them or affect them in the manner that it did. Okay? Um, I feel like... I, I, I tell you what, I feel... It, so either this person made their move on someone else or they chose someone else over you or they chose... Um, maybe they chose to go after their dream or like, I'm, I'm getting like even like a creative endeavor or something like that, you know? So whatever that choice was, um, it's, it's like that they fell flat on their face and they want to come back and be like, you know, I'm sorry. Um, and I really made a big mistake because I really, really wanted you, but I, whatever. I kind of feel like this person thought you would always be there waiting. Okay. I don't know. Again, I don't know if this is someone that you were previous in previous relation. I don't. I don't. I'm kidding. It's like you never. I don't know that you ever that you met this person. I don't know. So I mean, could it be mixed? You know, could it be somebody? Could it be an ex for some of you? Yes, and for some of you, it could be somebody that you've never even met. Technically, technically, you know. And that could be very metaphorical too. You know, I like to dive into, into things very, very metaphorically. So somebody that you never met, to me, can sometimes speak of, you know what, we've met in the physical, but you never got to know me. We never actually met. You didn't know me. You thought you knew me, but you didn't know me. So for me, metaphorically, I could all, also see that, or poetically, I could see that as, we never met. You never knew me, even though we met in the physical. Okay. So... Let's not jump the gun on whatever this is and like, you know, just take it in. Try not to think too much about it. Just know that there's going to be somebody coming back and could be coming back for a round two. And I feel like they're full of regrets about something that they may have lost or missed with you. All I know is whoever this person is, I mean, it's, well, you got the devil here. So they're obsessed. Somebody's definitely obsessed with getting you back and they want to start all over again. They want to start fresh and whoever it is, they are really, really, really wanting to just rip it off. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody has a very, very strong feeling for you, All right? Matter of fact, I got to send a message to that, to that reader. I'm like, you know what? That kind of came out in my meditation. I'm talking about it. So anyway, all right, that's it. Good luck. Give me a thumbs up, please. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I hope the uh, message finds you well and you get whatever it is that you need out of it. Keep in mind that this message is not going to be for everyone. So make sure that you have enough discernment to know whether this message is yours or not. Every aspect of this message is not going to be yours. Okay. So there's going to be certain details about this message that's not going to resonate with you. It's because I'm reading for a bunch of different people. There's a lot of different energies into this mix. So talking about certain little tiny things aren't going to make any sense to you. Okay. But on the grand scheme of it, the big point that you must understand is that there is something coming towards you. And whoever this is, this is somebody that's very, very, very attracted to you, obsessed with you, okay? So, good luck. As of right now, I don't see any danger. I don't see any danger, okay? Good luck. See you next week.